Hey guys, I got another video here. We're in the S95 Mustang right now. Uh, I'd like to talk a little bit about um, the PI head swap I did a couple months back. Uh, I did PI heads, cams, intake manifold. Um, did a couple other supporting mods for it, but I'm gonna talk about that today. Talk about if it was worth it, talk about what it went into it uh, and how I went about doing it. Um, so let's get started. All right guys, we're outside the car now. It's uh, kind of dirty, I need to wash it. Um, but engine bay is a little bit messy. I'm gonna get everything, all the wires cleaned up right um here shortly but uh i got the ported pi heads on there um an actual ford performance pi intake manifold um i'm actually running a 75 millimeter throttle body um i don't like the cold air intake setup that i have on it right now it was on there when i bought it um i let it use it tucks into the fender a little bit better but um as far as performance wise i could tell a huge difference i'm very happy i did the swap um the biggest difference I could tell, actually, I could tell a little bit of a difference after I actually did the PI head swap on it. The biggest difference I could tell is when I upgraded to my 75 millimeter uh, throttle body there. I got that from SR Performance. Um, well, the plenum is SR Performance. The throttle body, I believe, came off of eBay. I believe it did. Um, but yeah, it's a 70 mil 75 millimeter throttle body, upgraded. Um, plenum is a little bit bigger than the stock one. Uh, I actually went from stock to that was the biggest difference I could see actually because it allowed the heads to flow, uh, the ported PI heads to flow like they're supposed to. Um, but basically what happens when you do the PI head swap, two things happen. You get a higher compression ratio and you get better flowing uh, intake ports. Um, the intake manifold has those matching ports so you got to swap that as well but um i also went with long tube headers after that just to help flow better in the exhaust um i'm very happy i did it i would recommend it to anybody that has an s95 mustang with a 4.62 valve in it um another difference that i noticed in it actually it sounded quite a bit different um the exhaust did the exhaust tone sounded a lot different from uh stock so i'm actually gonna do a startup for you guys I'm gonna sit my phone out here and start it up and let you listen to it at idle. Right, guys that's going to be it for this video uh thanks for watching um it wasn't very long but it was just meant to basically for anybody who was wondering or contemplating doing the swap wondering if it was worth it i personally think it was uh worth it for me um i have a lot of other bigger mods for it in the future um but for now uh, i think it's a really good increase in power um the biggest one of the biggest aspects of the performance that i noticed was um, used to, it'd feel like it run out of breath, like past 5,000 RPM. Now it just wants to keep on going up, you know, past 6,000 RPM. It's still making power. It increased the power band a lot uh, higher up in the RPM. So I'm, that's what I'm most happy with is it breathes a whole lot better. Um, I'm going to put a, either a link or a list of all the parts you actually have to replace and or swap with this in the description. So everyone can know for sure what they're going to need before they get into it. Um, but yeah, that's going to wrap up this video, guys. I'll be back with more SN95 content later. Thank you for watching.